Today, we'll be going in-depth on how to create an advanced stochastic crossover alert and only get notified when one of our stocks meet our buy or sell criteria. The entire point of this being to save you time and only get notified when you'd actually want to place a trade. Coming over here and taking a look at my chart for just a second, we're going to be specifically creating an alert to notify us anytime there is a crossover on the stochastic right down here below. We're going to be looking to get alerted whenever the K line, or the white line in this case, crosses above the D line, acting as our buy signal, or anytime it were to cross below the D line or below the red line and act as our sell signal. Using the stock right here as the example, there are a few different times where we would want to be alerted and get notified, and right here we can see a few different buy or sell signals. I even want to make this a little bit more specific, only looking for those crossovers when above the 80 line or below the 20 line to see what many would consider a stronger signal of a move. But before we get started, just remember that you can use any studies or any combination of studies that you want, but this is our example for today. And please don't get too overwhelmed if it does seem confusing, that is completely normal. It's a lot to take in, but it's worth learning about. Now in terms of creating the alert itself, we could create it just for this specific stock. But what I want to do is create the alert for an entire set of stocks, and in order to do that, we will need to start by coming up here to the scan tab. From here looking down below, you can see I've already got some basic stock filters down here below. That includes a basic filter looking for only those stocks that trade over $10 a share are worth over a billion dollars in value, so have a market cap greater than a billion, and on average they trade more than a million shares a day, so they're at least fairly liquid. What I want to do next though is add the filters for the stochastic crossovers, and what I need to do is actually add another condition group, because right now this condition group, which is currently marked all of the following, means all of these conditions have to be met. Since I'm going to be looking for a crossover above or below the lines, either a buy or sell signal, I'm going to need to come over here and add another condition group, and this one's going to be in any of the following. So now that we've added that brand new section right down here below, that means it could either be a buy signal or a sell signal. Now that we've got that made, in order to add the new filters, we're going to come over here to the far right hand side and click on the little arrow that says add a filter. We're going to come down below and add a study filter. You can then see the default study that pops up in here over on the left hand side is the ADX crossover, but to change that we'll just click on the drop down menu. I'm then going to come down below and I'm going to be adding a custom filter. As soon as I clicked on that a little pop up window comes up and the very first thing I have to do is delete whatever's in here because we want to start fresh. I'm then going to come down here to the lower left hand corner and add a brand new condition. For this very first one I'm going to be looking for a buy signal, or a stochastic K line or that white line crossing above the D line, which was that red line. To begin we're going to come up here and select a condition, it's going to be a study condition. I can then come up here to the search box and search for a stochastic, and for this one I'm actually going to select stochastic full down here below. By default, it's already looking at the K line, so we're looking at the K line to cross above. So I'm going to come over here to the right and select crosses above. I'm then going to come over here and select what I'm looking for it to cross above, and again, that's going to be another study condition. We're then going to search for the stochastic just like before, and again, come down here below and select stochastic full. Now that we've got that set, the only change I have to make is to specify that I'm looking for the K line to cross above the D line. So I need to click on this little drop down box here and flip it over to the D line. Once that's set, I could then come down here and hit save. And now we can see that brand new filter right up here above. But to get a little bit more advanced with it, I also want to look for that crossover only when it's below 20, meaning it's a stronger buy signal. So to do that, we're going to come down here below and add another condition. We're going to select a condition. It is going to be a study condition. And just like before, it is going to be the stochastic full. So go ahead and select it in the list down below. I'm going to go ahead and leave this set as the full K line. And I'm going to come over here to the right and say it's less than a condition, which is going to be a value condition of 20. So with that said, I'm now saying that I want the K line to be below 20. 
but because we've set the crossover on the previous screen, we're looking for a stronger buy signal on the chart. The only other thing I have to do before hitting OK is come up here to the upper left hand corner and make sure that this says all, meaning all of the conditions have to be met before I get alerted. Now that that's done, we'll just come down here below and hit OK. And now we just have to do the exact same thing, but for the sell signal. So going through that a little bit faster than before, I'm going to come up here and add a filter. It's going to be a study filter. We can see the brand new filter is just like before the ADX crossover. So we'll go ahead and flip that over to custom. Within that pop-up window, we need to begin by deleting whatever's in there, then add a brand new condition. We're then going to need to find basically the exact same conditions as before, the stochastic full K line, but this time crossing below the stochastic D line acting as our cell signal. So right here, we've again got it set to the full K line, looking for it to cross below the D line. We can then come down here below and hit save. And now I need to add the other condition looking for the K line to be above 80. So we'll come over here and add another condition. It's again going to be a study condition. We're going to look for the stochastic once again, the stochastic full. I'm going to leave it set to the K line, but this time I'm going to be looking for it to be greater than a value of 80. Go ahead and highlight that and change that to 80. Now that that's set, if I come down here and hit save and then hit OK one more time, we now have a custom scanner looking for a crossover on the stochastic, either a buy or sell signal crossover. If we wanted to see if there were any results for this today, we could come over here and hit the scan tab. And now looking down below, we can actually see there are six companies right now that meet all of our criteria. Coming over here, that's going to include BAH, BAX, EC, Forge, and a few others. And you could always add additional filters whenever matters to you, whatever criteria that you find important. But for now, we're going to use one of these as the example just to make sure our scan is working exactly the way that we want it. So we'll just go ahead and use the first example here, BAH. If I were to come back up here to my charts page and throw in that symbol up here, BAH, coming to the right and looking at the chart right now, we can actually see a stochastic crossover right here on the chart. So right here, this would indicate a potential buy signal on this stock. It might signal that the stock is going to go in an uptrend, and we might want to take advantage of that. But now that that's set, we need to create an alert based off that scan. In order to do that, we will need to head back up here to the scan tab. We're then going to need to first start by saving it. And to do that, we'll come over here to the far right-hand side and click on the three little lines right up here in the upper right-hand corner. I'm then going to go ahead and save this scan query and I'm gonna name it as the stochastic crossover. Now that that's set, I can come down below and save it. To create the alert, I'll now need to open up that scan as a watch list. So I'll just come over here to the far left-hand side and open up my side panel. Here you can see I've already got a watch list, but it's open up to the options 2.0 watch list right now. And actually, since I don't want to change this one, let me come down here below to the little plus sign and add a brand new watch list below this one. I can then come up here to the name of that watch list default, then come up to the personal section, which is where all of my watch lists are stored, and then click on the one marked stochastic crossover. That watch list now down below will only display those companies that meet all of our criteria right now and it's gonna be constantly updating. So only those companies that meet our criteria will show up. If it no longer meets the criteria, it'll disappear. If a new company meets our criteria, it'll appear on this list. But now in order for us to be alerted when a new company is added, when a new company has that crossover happen, we're gonna click on the name of the watch list, and then we're gonna to need to come up here to where it says alert when scan results change. And we're just gonna click on that. You can then see in the little pop-up window over here on the right, we can then specify when we want to be alerted. In this example, I'm saying I want to be alerted when a new symbol is added to this watch list. If I now come down here below and hit create, I'm now going to be notified whenever there's a crossover on a stock, whenever there's a buy or sell crossover on the stochastic oscillator. But that's the basics on how we can create a much more advanced alert within Thinkorswim. And again, you can create an alert for anything, we just use the stochastic since it's a fairly popular indicator. 
Hopefully after all that, you feel at least a little bit more comfortable with how to create advanced alerts within Thinkorswim and specifically a stochastic crossover alert. If you do still have questions or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And if you're looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well, so go ahead and check it out. That's it for now, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you all on the next one.